Hi everybody, it's Tarina and I am doing the palette board with the monogram and the oval uh, wreath uh, tonight. Um, this is for a virtual class that we are doing, um, including Old Willow Designs uh, felt flowers. Um, thanks so much for joining us and I just wanted to show you what the finished project looks like. Um, and then I'm going to take this away, but we'll come back. You're going to need a couple of things uh, to start out with. You're going to need all of the supplies that came in your kit. I actually have a full jar of chalk, of uh, the, the gold chalk paste, um, but in your kit, you got a little uh, sample size of it. And then you got a sample size of the green um, chalk paste. Um, and so what I like to do with the, with the gold, you don't really need to do anything. It should be good. Um, you don't want it to sit in that jar too long without, uh, doing your project, but you're going to want to knead your, um, your chalk paste in the little container. You can do that before you use it, but I'm going to set that aside, set my chalk paste aside. Um, I would get some finishing paste wax. Um, you're going to need that and a nice soft cloth. Um, because the palette board is a wood surface, you're gonna need to wax that just a little bit. Um, also, you're gonna need a hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks, um, either a, a nice clean towel or a chalk couture fuzzing cloth. And um, I think if you don't already have them, um, then you're going to need to have a couple of squeegees, uh, to do the project. Uh, if you need squeegees, they are available on my website at www.chalkcouture.com backslash Tarina, T-E-R-I-N-A-M. Um, I also like to have, um, some wipes available, uh, in case I mess up a little bit. All right. So I am going to put all of these aside for now. And then I'm going to open up my chalk for, or my palette board. And we are going to use this side, this side of the palette board. You could also do something on the back side if you want to, but for this project, we're going to be using this side. So what you're gonna do is just take a little bit of the wax and I just smooth it on. It doesn't take a ton. And just smooth it on. What the wax does is it helps so that your transfer doesn't stick to the surface and it gives the chalk paste something to stick to. I'm just going to wipe it on. And then I'm going to take a clean part of the cloth I'm just going to buff it. So the first thing we're going to do after we're done waxing, take your clean cloth, pull out your oval wreath. And because your, your wreath is brand new, we're going to fuzz it. And that is just basically taking some of the sticky off of the back so it's not so super sticky. You could do this a couple times. It won't hurt it. And when you wash your transfer, uh, and it'll the sticky will come back, uh, you could also use um, a, the wipes in order to um, really make sure all the fuzz is off of it and make it really sticky again. 
All right, so you're just gonna center this onto your project. And you don't want any bubbles in your screen. This white part is the screen. It's okay if it's in the emulsion area, but you just wanna make sure that there's no bubbles in your screen. You can use your squeegee to get out any extra bubbles. Just like that. All right, so I also, I forgot to say this. I also forgot to tell you to have like a little plate um, and then you're just gonna knead your chalk paste. Just kind of smush it around. And this is just like if we were going to be stirring the chalk paste. All right. And that feels pretty good. Okay. So just tear off the top. And then you're just going to squeeze out the chalk paste onto the plate. So you're gonna scoop up some chalk paste and you're just gonna smooth it around, filling in all of the screen areas. It's like you're buttering bread. Really smooth it around. And then you can drag off any excess. And just set it aside. And then you're gonna lift up that. Now, if you missed any like if it didn't squeeze into that screen, it's okay. You can just, there we go. So you just run right back over it. And peel it up. And you're gonna wash that transfer off in water. You could either put it in a water bath or in the sink. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blow dryer or a heat gun, a heat tool, and you're gonna dry that off. Next, we're gonna do your letter. Um, take, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your letter out of the packaging. You're gonna use your towel or a fuzz cloth and you're going to fuzz that transfer really well. You do this a couple times. And then you're gonna place that letter right down in the middle of your board. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure that it's all smoothed down. Take that little jar of the gold chalk paste that came in your kit. You're gonna scoop it up. Do the same thing that you did before. Just smooth it over. And 
drag off any excess chalk paste. You're gonna make sure you push that color right down in to the screen. That looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna pull this up, see what we got. Look at that, so pretty. Looks really nice. I'm gonna set this aside so I can wash it later. I'm gonna dry this off with my heat gun again. So with your flowers, and that should be nice and dry, that looks really good. With your flowers, what you wanna do is you're gonna lay them out before you glue them down. It's nice to see where you're going to put them before you actually lay them down. Lay them out. Aren't these flowers just beautiful? I love them. Um, also, you can fluff them out, especially when they are glued down. So you just kind of fluff them around. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the bottom, the bottom up. So I'm going to take these apart and I'm going to glue my leaves down first. Got a little glue right here. And it is totally fine if yours looks just a little different than mine, because ours will not be next to each other. Um, I also like to glue my leaves together, my leaves that are gonna go right next to each other. I like to glue those together to start off with. And then I'll glue those down. Just be really careful with that hot glue. Can't tell you how many scars I've gotten from that hot, from that hot glue. So 
So let's stick this one right here. And I think I'll put this guy down too. Aren't those so cute? She does such a great job on all her flowers. They really are beautiful. But I'm going to put this guy next. And then this little white daisy. Tuck that in there. It's like a little puzzle just kind of fits all together. Look how cute that looks. Really pretty. And like I said, as when it dries, you can fluff it up and make them look exactly the way you want them to. All right. So let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna start with this little guy. And we'll glue our leaves together. glued the wrong side.
And that is it. Look how pretty that is. Let's see that. Like I said, you can fluff up your flowers to make it look however you want. You can kind of maneuver them a little bit and fluff them up. They can stand up and stand out a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed that project relatively quick and easy. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, um, this the flowers are from Old Willow Designs. Everything else is Chalk Couture Transfers Surface and Chalk Paste. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Comment below um, or private message me and I, I will help you out. Thanks so much for signing up for this class and I will talk to you soon. This has been Tarina with Create with Tree That's Me. Talk to you later.